Good day, everybody. I am Sam, and I am going to do a walkthrough uh, for Final Fantasy VII, the original one. Um, a friend of mine has actually been asking me to, and you know what? Why not? When I have free time, absolutely. Um, so let's just get right to it. I am currently playing on the PS5, so it is going to seem a little weird with the big black strips on either side, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, so Final Fantasy VII is actually my favorite out of all of them. I have played this so many times throughout uh, the years. I... I don't know it inside and out fully. It might seem like I do, but there are still things that I am learning. Uh, I will also let everybody know that if you ever hear me kind of make weird sounds or say ow or just start to go after something, um, I do have two cats and they do like to be a pain in my ass. So um, let's just keep that in mind as I am doing this live. So hopefully this will turn out and hopefully people can follow along. Um, if there is stuff I miss, that is completely fine. Let me know. Because, again, I'm not perfect with this. There's probably still stuff I miss after years of playing this. I learned something new the last time I played. So, you know what? This is why I love this game so much. There is literally everything that you can think of in this game. You can find something new around the corner. I just love this game so much. I love the story, I love the characters. It's literally in my favorite. Alright, so we are about to be at the train station here. And then we will start on our little journey. I guess I really shouldn't call this a walkthrough, honestly. I'm just gonna call it my playthrough. Um, I do grind so much in this game that I'm probably not going to record those as it would literally be the most boring thing you will ever see. I don't know how this is going to be for me because I usually skip through all the talking but for ones who haven't played I'll try and stick on the actual um, Little speech bubbles a little longer just for the newcomers so these guys aren't real tough unless you know you miss them like that because 50 50 shot <laughs> you don't have to do anything major with these guys just hit them once and they should die and that's something that I'm gonna have to change um, So for those of you who don't want to wait that long, I find this also helps me, uh, especially early on. So if you go into your menu, go to config, go to battle speed, and go all the way up to fast, and you're good to go. Stairs. So with these guys, you are working with Avalanche. Um, the group consists of Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge. You will see Barrett as well. He is a main character that joins you after a while. I do apologize if this is constantly going too fast. But for this playthrough, I am just going to keep their actual names. Sometimes I change them, sometimes I don't. Uh, you'll see at the start, Cloud is kind of a dick, in a way, <laughs> but it's nothing, nothing too major. Um, for the main, for the main story, I'll try and read. Just right now, I'm just kind of stating what I'm doing and everything along those lines. 
press the directional function to run. I don't have to do that as I'm playing the PS5 version and I can just use my analog stick. But yes, to run in the original, hold down your circle and go. Ugh, I always do that. See, again, I've played this game for so many years and I do that same thing every single time. So as you can see, since I changed the battle speed, my turn will come faster, which is very helpful. I can't stand waiting for that speed that they give you at the start, so I always change it every time. So you're going to go into the reactor, follow your little group. Alright. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor. No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The plant's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. Now, I will state, yes, the proper pronunci pronunciation is Mako energy. However, I have been playing this game since before the remake came out years and years and years ago. No, I'm not that old, but I feel it. Um, so it is Mako energy, however I will be pronouncing things the wrong way, which is the way that I thought that they were going to be pronounced, because I was a kid and I pronounced them the way I thought they were, so I apologize if it bothers anybody, I will try and stick with the proper pronunciation, however if I say the wrong one, don't mind me, it's just what I'm used to. lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. So now, Barrett and Cloud, not really nice to each other. You know what, that's fine. So to get these doors open, you literally talk to Biggs the first time, and then you talk to Jesse. Now here, go to your right, and you will find a little treasure chest. Phoenix down, you will definitely need that later. Talk to Jesse again. And go in the elevator. Bear is going to come out, he's going to talk to. I said I was going to read, I really can't, this is a lot of words, <laughs> uh, but I will leave it here for a little bit, just so people can read if needed. Mind you, if you are playing your game, you can just follow kind of what I do, you can just read it yourself. Um, because of my constant grinding, <laughs> I'll show a little bit of kind of what I do and explain why I do it, but then during my actual grinding days, I will not record because that is just awful. quick and easy. Now, because I know what's going to be down here, um, I'm gonna sit in a battle for a minute here, maybe, just to kind of wait and see how things go, see if I can get my limit break on time. Ow. Ooh, that hurt.
sometimes it takes a while, and of course, when one gets ripped, they normally don't hit the other one, so we'll see. Okay, he's doing fine. Well, let's hit you with ice, because why not? I don't want to use my limit break right now. Anyway... Ow, stop hitting him, please. Again, you don't have to do this. You can go straight to the bottom of the reactor. Which I do recommend, just to actually get this game started. So because Bear is literally a one hit away from the limit break, I'm just going to keep going. Got that potion in front of her. Go all the way down. Cross the pipe and down the ladder. So with the save point. You don't have any tents or anything yet, so I'm just going to use a potion, just to put me up a little bit. Now I'm going to go to save 2, the save 1 is where my original game is. And I really don't want to save over that, as I'm currently on the way to the final boss after I do a bunch of leveling up. Oh, that's not fun. Yes, wanting to keep the limit breaks is a little bit of a hassle because Barrett literally can't do anything. But again, you don't have to follow what I do. This is literally just what I do because I know what's coming. This will not be a long video as I do have places to go. Um, but it will be long enough. Reactor, pick up that materia. Definitely need restore. Be warned about the reactor. Blah blah blah. Apologize if volume goes down a little bit. I'm just kind of testing it out. And here's the big bossy boss. This is why I wanted the limit breaks. For those of you who have played the remake, fighting this thing in the remake is not fun, and it's definitely not as easy as this one. But, it's definitely a challenge, and it's definitely fun. Lightning will be one of your best friends here, as he is a machine and lightning hurts the hell out of them. Always kind of keep an eye on your health, just because you don't want to get too low, just in case he hits you hard and kills you in one shot. I apologize if I sound, um, stuffy. I'm really not. Uh, it's kind of just how I sound, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so usually... This will say, hit it when its tail is up. I never do. I never listen to it. Because it will hit you, and it will hit you hard. This is where I typically heal if needed. And until he puts his tail down, I will not touch him. Like that. That's not what I wanted. Ow, ow, ow. Eh, ice hurts him too. Lightning hurts him more. And he's dead. So just like that, you don't have to worry. He does hit you hard. Um, but it's really nothing to be concerned about. And you have a new weapon for Barrett because of that. Now you do have 10 minutes to get out of here. It's not going to take you that long. At least it really shouldn't. Unless you really get screwed up with... Uh, fights. I always say beforehand, just in case. And yes, sometimes I still do die. Because we are only human and we are not perfect. It's fine. If you die, just reload. Try it a different way. So up here, Jessie will be stuck in the railing that she's standing on. So you can help her if you choose to. You don't have to. I usually do because she usually gives me something at the end of it. Which, what that is, I can't remember. It's nothing major, but it does help. Ugh. If you see target pop up, it's because the controller I'm using is currently half broken, so I'm accidentally hitting a button that's very, very sensitive. So that is not me doing it on purpose. Let me help you, Jesse. how I play all of the Final Fantasies that I play, especially the turn-based ones. I literally just attack everything. I don't really do anything different. I don't use magic unless I believe I absolutely have to. It's literally just attack, attack, attack. So I apologize if the fighting in this is very boring, but that's literally all I do. Now, in this version, I can get trophies for it. Um, I have already platinumed this game, so we won't be seeing any trophies. However, there is one with Barrett that you can get as long as you do the right things um, throughout the game. So I'll try and remember exactly what those are. Alright, so for this, oh, get into a battle first, apparently, uh, but then you talk to Jessie so she can open the door. Well, like, you really don't have to worry, because we're at seven minutes right now, and the way out is literally just past these doors, so we're fine. Talk to Jesse. 
And then talk to Biggs. And then keep going. Whee! The reactor will explode. And boom, you're out. I also apologize if I swear constantly on here as well. I do have the uh, the mouth of a sailor slash trucker slash whatever you want to call it. So I will try and not swear as much. But if I do slip here and there, I do apologize. <laughs> Legend's butt on fire. So we gotta go to the Sector 8 train. So you literally just go up the stairs. And this is where you will see Aerith. In this one, her name is Ares. However, in the original and in the remake, um, and when I say original, I mean the Japanese version. Her name is Aerith with a TH at the end. So, here, I usually be nice to her and buy the flowers. Um, and I will show who I give it to once we get to Sector 7. Because for those of you who have the version who want to get all the trophies to get Barret, uh, to get the trophy with Barret, um, you need that flower and you need to give it to a specific person. Here, you don't have to fight them. Um, you can if you want. I kind of waited too long and they hit me, so I'm gonna fight them, I guess. <laughs> But you don't have to fight them if you don't choose to. I typically just hit later so then I can just literally keep going because they are non-stop coming at you, so don't worry about it. Just hit later so you can keep going with your storyline. On to the train you go. With this first video as well, I can kind of make it better for my next one, just to kind of see where I sit with the volumes and everything. Hooray, let's make a dramatic entrance.
so now we go to the front of the train. Now, with this, you can talk to everybody if you so choose to. They're not gonna really give you anything, but you have to talk to Jesse. Oh, Wedge, stop. Now, again, you can be nice, you can be a dick. It doesn't matter what you do. But you do have to talk to Jesse so she can show you this little map. Now, I can't remember if she only shows you this if you save her. Um, but I always save her, so I always get this. If you don't end up saving her and you don't get this, don't be surprised. Because I honestly can't remember, because I do the same thing every single time I play. I apologize if I stop talking every once in a while, just, I do end up reading more than I think I do. And I can't really talk and read at the same time because I'll either stutter or I'll just completely mess up my reading as well. So, be patient with me, this is my very first narrative walkthrough, playthrough that I've done. After talking to Jesse, you're going to have to go walk over to Barrett and he'll start talking to you. You'll talk a little bit and then you'll be good. explosion of the first reactor and we're gonna go into sector 7 and I'll show you all the little things that I end up doing which again isn't much and you don't even have to follow this if you want you can literally just watch this and if you play Final Fantasy as much as I do you can literally just watch it and see what I do different what I do the same doesn't matter. This is all in good fun. Next one's gonna be bigger. All right, let's go. There is a save point back there, if you so choose to use it. But I typically don't, because there's a save point in here anyway. So I typically just kind of go to Barrett first. Again, really depends. <laughs> So, talk to this girl over here.
and then he will let you in. And this is where you get to see Tifa. Tifa is my favorite uh, female in this game. I never had love for Aerith, that's just a me thing, I never did. Still don't. Friends of mine always get after me for that. But you know what? To each their own. So this is where you get the flower to Marlene, if you so choose to get the trophy for the Barret uh, date that I'm talking about, you have to get the flower to Marlene. If you don't have the version where you can get trophies in, give it to Tiva if you want, it doesn't really matter. So now you try and leave, and Barret will come in. Talk to Tifa. I typically go give me something hard. You don't have to. Whichever choice does not care. Like, does literally not matter. A dick, but he does get better. Oh, hello, kitty. As I said, you'll probably hear me talk to cats as he likes to try and chew my wire, but now he's just gonna sit here and be good. these two. As much as some of the characters can be assholes at the very beginning of this game, it... You know what? It's still one of my favorite games. It's really fun. I also like grinding. It's what I do. But typically my grinding doesn't start until after we leave Midgar, so... You don't have to worry about that during Midgar. Tifa will make you feel like a guilty bitch for a minute. Again, I still like Tifa. Tifa is better than Aerith, and again, that is my opinion. There is a lot of people who like Aerith, there's a lot of people who like Tifa. There is no right or wrong answer. That's just me personally.
This is back when the two of them were kids and they lived in Nibelheim, which you will see later on in the game. And that is also where you can get my favorite character of Final Fantasy VII, Vincent. I forget how long some of these little cutscenes, I guess, back then are. Especially when you have to read everything and hit, remember to hit X so it goes away. Kids nowadays have no idea what we went through as children. <laughs> everything talks to you, you don't really have to pay attention. I guess that's not true. Some still do. Alright, so the promise is made. He would go help her whenever she was in peril. Again, if you have actually played the remake along with the original, it's um, it's it's different. I do enjoy the remake for what it is. Uh, I have a lot of issues with it, but I like it for what it is. Alright, so we're just gonna leave here. Talk to Barrett. Now, materia isn't hard, but I will go through the t the, t the oh my god the tutorial. Um, it's literally not that difficult. You just hit the triangle button to go into the menu like it says. Use your D-pad to go up and down. If you want to leave the menu, you just hit the circle button. So, you use materia, you select materia, and then you select who you want to go to for the materia. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put materia in. Now select the materia you want to use. This is curative materia. If you want to know what, it, what its effect is, line the cursor up with check in the menu. And press the cross button, which is the X button. It's just like selecting battle commands. Just line the cursor up to magic. You can see that the available magic has increased. Now you can use magic cure. And that's all there is to equip and materia. See, it wasn't that tough. When you want to remove any materia, it's as easy as pointing to the materia slot and pressing triangle. That's just one thing you have to be careful of. 
whenever you equip materia, your situation changes. Parts of you may become stronger, while others get weaker. Normally, when you equip magic materia, your magic power will get stronger, but your physical strength weakens. So, materia is kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see the materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse magic materia, but try out various things. Press circle button to exit the sub-menu. Okay, that's about it. I'll give you some advice, or er, I'll give you some advanced tips later. Now, Barrett thinks he's an idiot, so we are going to be in charge of materia. Shocking enough. Now, before talking to Barrett here, you could have talked to Tifa, and she would have asked you how you slept last night, and you would have said either Barrett snoring kept me up, or sleeping next to her who wouldn't sleep good. That really all depends on the date later on, which one you want to go with. Because we're trying to go for Barrett because of the trophy thing, um, I just didn't talk to her. Now this is where I typically whoop, go through and make sure that everything I have is where I want it to be. So Cloud I'm going to have as my healer, Barret I'm going to have ice, and Tifa I'm going to have lightning. There is no ample reason on why I do this, it's just what I do. It doesn't matter who you give the magic material to at this point. We're going to go down here first. Talk to this guy. Now we have over 2,000. There's the assault gun that we have already. I'm going to... Whoop. Before I buy those, I'm going to go up. Ugh, this is all of the, um, the tutorial stuff for buttons and, ha and all that stuff. Yeah, if you want it easy so you can find, like, entrances and exits and where you are, press the center button on your controller. That's if you are playing on a PlayStation 5. Um, it will be different for everything. Here's the all materia you want. You will also get a chest. With ether in it. This is a save point. So you can save here, which I will be probably leaving short. Nope, that's not the one I want. But that kind of shows you where I'm at. I'm at 45 hours in my my original game at level 99. My gill is awful because I'm psychotic. Okay, save two is where I want to go. I always have three save files just in case I have to go back at some point because I screwed up on something. Because it happens. You can talk to this little girl if you want and watch her kick the hell out of this kid. ladder to a little um, sleeping area up here if you so choose but right now you're fully healed at least you should be so you don't have to worry about anything but that is up there if you so choose I'll come back down here and I will buy three of these.
Just I have a very particular way I put my materia in. I always put all of up at the start. It doesn't matter what side you put it on. Oh, I forgot to talk to you guys. Just to make Ah, oh, this door. Just making sure that he didn't give me one. Or he didn't give me things. If you go in here, you can talk to this guy. And here is your fire materia, which you can buy. There's antidotes, there's phoenix downs, and there's potions. It really just all depends on what you want to do. And I will give it to Tifa. Because why not? Alright, so we leave. Ugh, oh, get out of my way, kid. So because I am about to be going here, I'm just going to save at the save point. And then we can take it from there next time. All right. Well, this was fun. Thanks, guys. And until next we meet. Toodles, poodles.